and the motion carries. Thank you. Next item on the agenda, Council Member Norris to address the Council concerning the Electric Plant Board and its operations. <coughs> Everybody happy? Yes, sir. There are a few people. Uh, the uh, statement there <clears throat> might be a little broad to speak about the uh, operations. I've only been to one meeting, okay? So um, I know that it's a complex operation, and we all benefit from heat air conditioning, lights at work, lights at home. So I want to say that. These are some of my feelings and about the direction, uh, the overall impact of <coughs> that operation and how it affects the members of our community, the people who live here and pay the bills. We have guests with us tonight, uh, Mr. Ray, and, and guests with him. We'd like to point those good people out to be here. Tonight, I want you just to listen, and a lot of this is redundant or repeat stuff, but uh, worthy of repeating because it is so important. I'm serving on this board at the request of Mayor Doty. I never dreamed of being at the electric plant board, but he took my arm and he put it behind my back and he twisted it, and so I agreed to uh, do my best. So I'm sort of in a, I'm a, sort of in a, a no man's land right now because of sincere feelings I have about this, uh, trying to um, swim through to some compromise is going to be a hard situation. We all know that before January 1, 2016, we were booking along pretty good. Nobody up here at the meetings, no controversy, and then all of a sudden we find ourselves in a quagmire, stalemate of maybe wrong information sometimes. And so, you know, I ask all of us to really just step back and and ponder some of these things, but don't quit saying what you need to say. That's the only way we'll make a change for the better. You might even consider if you have if you have problems and you have something to say about your bill from month to month. I know many of you try to uh, get through the phone down there to someone, but let's not be mean. Okay, let's not be mean. And if you are feeling that you're getting charged too much um, and you think that it's super high or maybe you've, or I have uh, over-exaggerated, you know, they, they really need to deal, we really need to deal with facts, okay? I would say that for the, for the uh, electric plant board. I've learned that much in one meeting. but we need to hear more. Residences, people, friends, neighbors are fearful. I want to say first to the citizens and especially those most vulnerable, the seniors and the medically challenged and scores of others, they have been and still are suffering. I continue to get calls every day, folks. So what are we going to do? By the way, who owns the electric plant board? Second, the business community. I shared with you publicly just recently asking a business owner with, I think, approximately five employees, and I was just there with someone else, and I said, you know, how's your electric bill been or whatever? And they said, it's, it's doubled in 2016. Now, I didn't look at the facts. That may be a little different. 
That's what the person said. I was in another business Friday waiting on my wife to complete something and I asked the folks there and it was a similar answer and I said I need facts okay I need facts so they were going to look up the facts and give me something more than just what they think so sometimes we think one thing and it's something else so You know, if you cannot, if you cannot, if you're running a business and you can't turn your equipment off and you can't turn your lights off because you are offering a service and people are coming in that help you to pay your taxes and your bills and what and you keep up your family, that's a penalized situation, I think. Okay, so we got things to do. We got we got compromise to get to. We got to work together. They can't shut off their equipment. And it's not really just a guessing game. Because we really don't know many times whenever that what is it, peak demand, is that what we call it? Sometimes it's a headache as well as a financial ache. Thirdly, I sp I've spoken privately just couple of lawyers not I'm not employing a lawyer okay I think we don't really need to do that we don't need to spend the city's money for that I think we're good enough people that we can compromise I think the electric plant board can do better just recently at the city council meeting, eight out of 12 members voted no on the re reappointment of Jim Lee. Jim Lee's a good man, my friend. But I voted no because we got to have change. We got to have change. Not ugly kind of situation, but doing the hard thing that needs to be done. The manager down there has expressed on more than one occasion that the people that, some of the people that help with this are very intelligent people. Well, great. That is good stuff. That's good stuff. I know Mr. Ray's been there a long time. I know we've had, we have had um, editorials written by maybe some of us, I don't know, about him being retired and then coming back and, and receiving a high salary. Well, you know, you may want to debate that. I don't. I have questions, though. New options, new hope. What's it going to take? It's going to happen when all of us work together for the good of the people, especially those are hurting worse. We cannot afford to leave out the ones who have worked to help make this city great. And we need to work hard to make it even greater. And I thank all of these good people that you've elected. And that seat's empty. That I, I on purpose got over here because you all vote for us every two years, but we're responsible. We must, be re we must answer to, to the way we do and why we vote on things. And that's good. That's American. As I said a while ago, we serve. We put others and personal aspirations on the back burner. The people come first. And I don't believe we need to get lawyers, you know, although I use them occasionally. I don't think we need to get involved in that. And I appreciate them coming tonight to be here. Appreciate y'all listening. 
and my phone is in the phone book. And you feel free to call me. I may not get right back to you. And I won't be mean to you. But something's got to be done. Okay? We just can't push this off to the side. We've got to act. The electric plant board needs to act. Is there a compromise? Is there a middle ground? Do we need to do we just say, this is not working, let's go back to December the 31st, okay? And start all over. Get the people involved. And I was talking, one lady called me Friday. And I know her. And she was very nice. I didn't know, I didn't know like how she stood on the issue, whether she was getting ready to get me or what. And she began to talk. You know, I just barely can spell OM, O-H-M. I think that's right, Billy. And I, did, I'm, I think I made a C in physics in college. So I am certainly not an experienced person in this thing. And I've got a lot to learn. But I know it's complex. And so she began to talk, and I thought, oh, I'm, a, I'm in over my head already. Because she was up to snuff on this stuff. And she doesn't work for an electric company or anything like that or put up power lines and she began to discuss some of these things and I, th I thought I need to talk to her again privately and write down some of this but that was not the point of the call the point of the call was she has a mom like many of you do that's still alive she's probably helping take care of living alone <clears throat> she said my mom this is exactly what she said she said, my mom lives in anxiety and fear, and she cries most days over this. I mean, come on, y'all. Come on. We can do better. But let me remind you, if you, if you want to talk about your bill and call down there and be ugly to the electric plant board, that's not the way to do it. You need to get the facts. You need to get the facts. And so what are we going to do? Well, I think we need new leadership. But that's a personal comment. You may differ with me on that. I don't want to debate it tonight. Billy and I get along right now, okay? And those board members are good people. And they've spent a lot of time down there working on this. And all those people that serve us on the lines and those trucks that are out there in the weather, you know, I appreciate that. But that's not really the answer. It's not really the answer. Well, I guess I've talked long enough. Some things I said would be re repetitive. And I didn't talk about the operations because I know it's complex. I know that much. But we got work to do. But you folks are the most important and our mothers and our dads if you still got your mother and dad or they're living alone and they're trying to get by you know I know Billy and the team down there can't put new appliances in all these homes my daughter actually got on the new digital stuff so some folks are, are trying that but I do have one good suggestion besides some of this may have been negative I don't know but if you haven't signed up for the Roundup program, right, Billy? If you haven't done that, it may be 25 cents or 30 cents. If, it, if your bill is $110.21, it would just be up to the next dollar. That will be helpful for the community relief or some of those agencies that can help pay someone's bill. And I appreciate I met with Patrick at uh, McDonald's last week we had a good discussion and I appreciated his generous heart to actually pay somebody, pay several people's bills. It's that I think it's that attitude is what we need. And thank you, Patrick. I appreciate that very much. It blessed me. So thank you for listening. Like I said, I only know how to spell ohm. And I just made a C in phys <coughs> physics. But I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate the ones that keep this issue.